I'll roast chicken with a mixture of parsley, fennel, and thyme that bursts with an herb flavor and serve it with a medley of spring vegetables. I make a fresh herb mixture with parsley, thyme, fennel seeds, spicy red pepper flakes, and garlic. Then I stuff it under the skin of the chicken to infuse the flavors into the meat. I want to start heating up the pan and we're gonna add some olive oil. We're gonna take one at a time and basically just gently just separate the skin from the meat. And we're gonna take a little bit of the herbs and just tuck it in underneath. So between the skin and the flesh of the chicken. So I'm just gonna put the chicken breast skin side down in the skillet. So we're gonna cook it for five minutes on each side and then we're gonna finish it in the oven. And while those cook, I am gonna wash these little hands. All right, so now let's check on the chicken. Looks nice and golden brown on the top, and see, the bottom is brown too. So we got a nice crust on the top and the bottom, which just means we're gonna have lots of flavor. And it really doesn't take long. Five minutes on each side, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about cooking the chicken through because we're gonna finish it in the oven. There we go. I'm gonna cook the chicken in the oven at 375 degrees for 15 minutes until the chicken is completely cooked through. And then I'm gonna cook the veggies in the same pan. My herb chicken is almost done, so it's time to get started on the veggies. Now, I'm gonna start with chipolini onions. So now, clean that all up. Just put that right here. And I'm gonna turn the stove on, and we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. So we're gonna melt the butter. There we go. We're gonna add all the carrots and the chipolini onions. Now you want everything, basically when you pick the vegetables you're gonna use, try and keep them all roughly the same size so they look really pretty in the platter. And a little salt and a little bit of black pepper, just like that. And we just want them to caramelize for a couple of minutes. So while these start to cook and get nice and golden, I am gonna check on the chicken. There we go. Look at that. See, the chicken's all nice and crispy. And you can see the herbs peeking through the skin, and mm, that is gonna be so good. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a minute and give this another little turn here. Okay, so now, next step. In order to pick up all those little bits at the bottom of the saute pan from the chicken, we're gonna add one cup of chicken broth. And again, I like to use low sodium chicken broth just to control how much salt is in the food, especially because we're gonna reduce this down and create a little sauce. Just like that. There we go. And then just take the spoon and just kind of scrape the bottom of the pan with the spoon. All right, so we're ready to add the snap peas. And we're also gonna add some morel mushrooms. Add those, and again, whole, because you wanna see all of the really yummy colors and flavors of spring. So we're just gonna toss that all together. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt right over the top and some black pepper. And just toss it all together. The snap peas and the morels are ready, so let's plate the chicken. Here we go. Grab each chicken, and this is what I like to do. I like to put the chicken in the middle of the platter and then put all the veggies in the sauce around the sides. I just think it looks prettier that way. Okay, so now, I just wanna grab the sauce and pour it all over, see? You 
can't tell me you wouldn't want to bring this to a table. 